All right, welcome to another episode of Farm DME. Today we're going to talk about penicillins. Uh, these are the first antibiotics to come out. Uh, today we're going to talk about the natural penicillins, penicillinase resistant penicillins, and amino penicillins. Uh, some thing, uh, one thing that they all have in common in their structure is going to be the beta lactam ring. You can also, you all sometimes hear these uh, antibiotics called beta lactams. Uh, there are other examples, and, and this is just three of them. Um, what they have, um, what they don't have in common, though, is this R ring, and this is the way that they div um, were able to get around resistance. So for the natural penicillins, there's pen G, which is IV and IM, and pen V, which is oral. Um, these can be used for uh, gram-positive cocci, including enterococci and group A strep, um, and it's also used for syphilis. Uh, they used to be used for just about everything, including gram-negatives, but over time resistance um, has limited their use. All right. uh, the next category is the penicillinase-resistant penicillins, uh, so this would be an alteration to this R group uh, so that penicillinase can no longer um, break down the antibiotic. Uh, some examples of these are methicillin, oxacillin and nafcillin, which are uh, IV and IM, and dicloxacillin, which is oral. Uh, methicillin isn't used very much anymore, but uh, you'll see it on the MIC, um, and that's used to determine whether or not the staph is MSSA or MRSA. Um, so talking about that, so now, uh, so now we have staff coverage, but we're going to lose some strep coverage, and uh, we won't be able to hit enterococci anymore. And then finally, the amino penicillins, which again is just uh, another change in this R group. So this is uh, ampicillin and amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is oral and it has a suspension. It has uh, similar gram positive coverage as penicillin and now we're able to hit some uh, gram negatives including H flu, E. coli, P. mirabilis, and salmonella. Okay, so the way that these antibiotics work is through an in, uh, inhibition of the bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding to penicillin binding proteins and it makes them bacterial cidal. Uh, some adverse effects are diarrhea, uh, C. difficile infection, including which can lead to diarrhea, and rash. Um, in terms of some pharmacokinetics, uh, the elimination is renally for most, um, but they may or may not require renal adjustments. Uh, the amino penicillins do. And then finally, some things of notes. Um, is the resistance, which we've talked about a little bit. Um, as bacteria became more and more resistant, uh, they changed that R group. Um, and then there's allergies to the penicillins. Um, it's probably, you know, the number one allergy that you'll hear. Um, it's about 1 to 10% of the population. And it can be things as small as a rash, but it can also be things as big as anaphylactic shock. There are ways to test for uh, allergies to penicillin, but it is expensive. All right, these are all pregnancy category B, and you should use with caution while nursing. All right, that's, uh, that's it for me today. Thank you.